In this video, I want to show you how you can find relationship between two numbers. Okay, so this is a relationship between club number and the total distance. Let's read the question. The table below shows the estimated estimated distance a golf ball will travel when hit by different numbered golf golf clubs. The smaller the number of the golf club, the further the total distance the bo a ball will travel. So what does it say? So golf club number, which has number 9, if you hit with that club, it goes a total estimated distance of 109. If it's 8, 116, it's 9, 7, 125. So smaller the number, greater the distance. So let's look at whether this follows any pattern. This is decreasing by 1. So this is increasing by how much? So let's look at this difference. So 109 plus what is 116? So well, that is 7. Plus 7 is 116. So this is 116 plus what is 125? So that is plus 9. 125 plus what is 136? That is plus 11. So can you see a dist Can you see how this is changing? This is plus 7. This is plus 9 plus 11. So the next number should be plus 13. Okay, so this is 136 plus 13. So this is 146 plus 3, which is 149. So the next difference should be plus 15. So this is 149 plus 10 is 159. 59, uh, 159 plus 5 is 164. Okay, and this is plus 17. So this is 164 plus 10 is 174, plus 7 is 181. Okay, now we want to find whether this D can be related with this N. That's the question. You want to find whether D uh, has got some, this number is related to this number. Okay, so let me write again so that you can, so let me write, make up two columns, N and D. So you've got 9, 8, uh, 7, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 3. Okay, so let me write the numbers against it. So this is 109, 109, 116, 125. I want you to look at these numbers. These are very interesting numbers. If you look uh, closely, you can see some interesting numbers there. Okay. Now, if you ignore the 1, what is the other numbers that you can see in this in these numbers? So, 109, I see, well, this is 100 plus 9. Okay? 116 is 100 plus 16. This is 100 plus 25. I want you to look at these numbers, which is after 100. Do they tell some specific numbers. They are special numbers. Okay, so if you look at these numbers after 100, they tell you one very interesting type of number. Hopefully you have got what I mean. So this is 100 plus 81. Okay, so let's look deeper. Now what does this mean? This is 100 plus, what is 9? 9 is a special number, you should know is 3 squared. What is 16, which is 100 plus 4 squared, and so on. This is 100 plus 5 squared. Okay, now what I want you to do is look at this 9 and this 3. Okay, look at this 8 and this 4. Okay, by that time and 7 and 5. Are they establishing or do they have some relationship? This is 100 plus, okay, I'll give you 10 seconds to think about the relationship between the numbers that I have circled. Okay, so let's look at these numbers, 6 and 6, 5 and 7. 7, sorry, 4 and 8, and 3 and 9. 
if you look at these two numbers, okay, 9 and 3, 3 and 9, 8 and 4, 4 and 8, 7 and 5, 5 and 7, 6 and 6. What are these numbers telling you? Okay, well, so let me write. This is the in, uh, this is the you can say the most interesting thing about numbers. If you see, look at the numbers deeply, you start seeing things. So this, can you see, nine plus three is twelve, eight plus four is twelve, seven plus five is twelve, six plus six is twelve, five plus seven is twelve, four plus eight is twelve, three plus nine is twelve. So if I want to write this number, okay, as all 9 plus 3 is 12, so can I write this expression? I should delete this. I don't know why I put this, so let me delete this. Okay, so this number, can I write this as 100? 100 is remaining comma, common. If 9 plus 3 is 12, can I write 3? Instead of 3 squared, can I write this as 12 minus 9 squared? Okay, this is 100 plus... 8 plus 4 is 12, so 4 is 12 minus 8. This is 12 minus 8 squared. This is 7 plus 5 is 12, so 5 can be written as 12 minus 7 squared. I hope you can see the pattern. And finally, this is 100 plus 12 minus 6 squared. I think you can write the rest yourself. Okay, now what is what does this mean? So this is this total distance is 100 plus 12 minus this number squared. So the rule that I can write is D, the total distance, is 100 plus 100 plus 12 minus this. This 9, 8, 7, 6 is nothing but, uh, nothing but N. So D, which is the total distance, is 100 plus 12 minus N, the whole squared. Okay, now let us check whether it works for number 2. If it's number 2, number 2, it should be plus 19, isn't it? Let's see, if you carry, carry forward, you have to add 19 to this. So 181 plus 19 is how much? is this is 10 this is 200 this should be 200 so does the formula work so let me use a different color so this would be 100 100 plus 12 minus 2 the whole squared which is 100 plus 12 minus 2 is 10 squared 10 squared is 10 plus 10 oh, sorry 10 times 10 which is 100 plus 100 which is 200. So this is a formula that relates the total distance and the club number, which is 100 plus 12 minus n, the whole squared.